What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. My name is Israel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before we get started, just hit the like button, man. It's free, bro. It's free. All right. So I wanted to make a quick video today. Well, it's actually, it might not be actually that quick and it's going to be a little different. As you can see, there's no charts on my screen. It's just my ugly ass face. But we got to talk about this because it's something that is killing a lot of people, man. And I see it every day. And you know what? It's a little upsetting, but it is what it is. Again, just a little disclaimer. This might sound personal. You might think that I'm talking directly to you if you are doing these things. Uh, you know, and I promise you, it's, it, it comes from the heart. I'm just trying to make you aware of what you are going through if you are not yet. And believe me, it will help. Once you are self aware, of these things, you will notice them and you will hopefully make an effort to get rid of them, okay? And again, before we get started, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do your thing, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to talk about three points that I think are huge, a huge factor on why you might not be performing as well as you want to, okay? Number one. Some people are lazy, plain and simple. Some people are lazy. What do I mean by that? A lot of people don't want to do the work. They think that this is easy, that it's just a skill, like shooting some hoops, and that's it. They are not spending time pre-market looking at charts. They're not spending time after hours. They're not watching videos. Uh, you know, they, can, they think that they can just let it all, all alone by themselves in the little corner and they don't want to do the work. They're, they don't want to read books. You know, when the market is closed, they go do the thing and uh, they don't look at the computer any, anymore until probably market open the following day. So that is a huge misconception. Okay. It takes a lot of freaking work. Let me tell you in case you didn't know yet. This is not a thing that you just come for an hour and spend, wait, I'm referring to beginner guys, okay? That you just don't come and just take a couple of trades and you're good. No, it requires years, years. And if you don't study, if you don't read any books, if you don't watch videos, if you don't have a mentor, somebody that helps you, if you don't have a community, you will struggle. Let me tell you, I mean, that is 100% guarantee you will struggle. It is not easy, guys. Trading is not easy. I know a lot of these furus make it look like it's easy and tell you that, oh yeah, it's, it's you know, you just need to come here. I I tell you I tell you how to do it. Still, if you are a lazy person, it don't matter if you go to a Discord. It don't matter if you hire a coach. It don't matter. Nothing is going to matter because at the end, let me tell you something. It requires a lot of work on your part. Okay, and. I don't know if you've ever heard it before, but I'm here telling you, you need to do work. You need to study. You need to read books. You need to watch the tape. You need to record your screen and watch it in slow motion or whatever. Use the think or swim on demand uh, feature and go back and look at the price action and watch the tape and watch the level two. And that takes a lot of consistency and a lot of time so you can begin to get better. Okay. It is not a skill. Trading is not a skill that you will pick up in a few days or a couple of days. You say, ah, oh, yeah, I watched a couple of YouTube videos, been trading for a week. I'm good, bro. I hit this penny stock last year that somebody said on Twitter, I made 5,000 bucks. I'm a freaking trader. If you are one of those, you probably already gave that money back like a lot of the COVID traders that are wiped out out of the market. You know why? Because they got lucky once and they thought they knew what they were doing. And now, especially with this market, completely gone money disappear why because they didn't know what the heck they were doing so that's the first point it requires work trading is not for lazy people okay second point not having your own plan and this kind of like piggybacks of being lazy some people just want to get stock calls just tell me what to buy just tell me what to sell that shit ain't gonna work. It might work once, it might work twice. It's gonna bite you in the rear. You know why? Because that person that you are following into that trade 
has a plan. Maybe he shared the plan with you. Maybe he didn't. So when that person sees the pullback, he might be adding. Since you don't know, you might be freaking out and you get stopped out for a loss. And then you go on Twitter and start being a, a, a whiny B about, oh my God, yeah, yeah, this and that, I lost money on your call. But you know what? Because the problem is that you are just blindly following some random guy into a trade without knowing what was his thesis, what was his plan, what was his if, if the stock do this, I do this, if the stock do that, I do that. You don't know that because you don't have a plan. You are just blindly following somebody into a trade and that will kill your account. I don't know how many people I see stopping out early or don't buy or selling too soon or this and that. And because it's simple, they don't even know why they bought that stock. They don't even know why they're buying at that price. They don't know why they're stopping at that price. And again, piggybacks to the first point. They're lazy. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to stay up late and watch a few extra videos or finish that book that you started six months ago and you're still on page three. So you need to have and be able or be able to learn how to plan your own trades. Okay, that is, that, that is a huge part of trading. You need to have your own conviction. You need to have your own plan because if you're following somebody else, you might not be aware of what that person's plan is if the stock pulls back 2%. So when he might be adding, because he was expected to do that, you don't know. So you're freaking out and you sold for a loss and there goes the trade. So you need to be able and you need to be willing to put the work so you get to the point that somebody might tell you, you might still have somebody tell you, hey, I'm playing this ticker. But you can go to the chart, <coughs> excuse me, you can go yourself to the chart Look at the chart, look at the levels, look at the everything and be able, okay, this looks good. Okay, I don't like it. Instead of like, yeah, where are you buying? Bam, I'm in with you. Why? Why why did I buy here? And these are things that a lot of people put a lot of time. Put a lot of time. I see them all the time in my community. I see them all the time. Studying and they DMing me, hey bro, I finished this book. What book should I read next? Hey, bro, what do you recommend in this? What do you recommend in that? But I see the other ones that I only, you only see them when it's trading time. And that's it. That's it. Because some people are just not willing to put the work. And like I said, again, this video might, might hurt somebody's feeling. But somebody needs to tell you. You need to learn. You need to learn how to fish so then you can fish on your own. It is good and gravy following somebody's calls. As long as you understand why is happening in that screen. Why is that person buying here? Okay? Why is that person looking at this breakout? Why is this person buying this dip when it can still pull back another 10%? So you can make your own choices based on whatever. You can always have that guy that is like, hey, I'm trading this, I'm in here. And you can be like, you know what, nah, I'm going to leave this one alone. I want to see it over this level before I get involved. And that's amazing because that's the way it should be. You should be able to have your own plan, your own strategies. And it takes time. It takes time. It's not an overnight thing, okay? And the third, a lot of people come to the stock market thinking that it's a get-rich-quick get rich scheme, Okay? They keep seeing all these flashy traders on Twitter with their Lambos and their Rolls and their mansions and their 15 different Rolexes. And they seen this guy hit a penny stock for 3,000%. So you, they think new guys coming into the market with that mentality, they think that they got to buy the shittiest penny stock because, you know, it's 15 cents. It goes to $2 and I made $28,000 of my $300 investment. And that's why small accounts get wiped so quick because nobody with a small account is looking for those quick 1% to 3% every day. And, you know, stack them, stack those gains, compound. Nobody's looking at that with a small account. Everybody wants that $16 to like $100,000 challenge. 
you see him on Twitter all the time. Hey, 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 bro, what is what is the next small account challenge? Because the the problem with those small account challenges is that for me, five hundred dollars could be, you know, I just throw that on a penny stock on a YOLO play or whatever. But that is your entire account. So that small account challenge for me is, and again, I'm not saying for me. I'm just speaking in general for most of the guys that do those. That money doesn't mean anything. They can lose that money and be completely fine. You lose that money and your account is wiped out. Okay? So a lot of people come to the market with that mentality that they are going to hit that one trade that is going to make them millionaires. And that is going to take three months and two YouTube videos and the three first pages of a book. And that's all the work they need to do. And it's a huge misconception. It's a huge misconception. Everybody is aiming for those home run trades and they keep striking out because nobody nowadays nobody's happy with a two percent day today i had a 1.8 percent gain on my account completely happy with that i was done by 11 in the morning but a lot of people are like oh man two percent three percent that's it oh shit but you know what because they have that mentality that they need to get this 100 percent every day 100 percent every day and those other people that are green for two months and then they blow up their account. Are green for six months and they blow up their account. That's not the name of the game. That's not the game, especially if you're starting. Because if you're starting and you're playing like that, if you're trading like that, you are creating horrible habits, which in the long run are going to really hurt you because now losing the, your $200 account might not seem like a big issue. You work 10 extra hours of overtime and you replenish those $200. But if any day, that account is 50 grand, 100 grand, and you blow up that, that's, 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 a, that's a little sum, okay? That's a little, that's, that's a little bit of cash. And believe me, if you can grow a $500 account, you will not grow a $50,000 account. That's, that's just facts, okay? If you cannot make 10 bucks with 100 bucks, you will not be able to make 100 bucks with 1,000 bucks. That's it, it's simple. But people come to the market with that, oh, man, you know what? Like, all I see this on Twitter, all these guys are rich. And it's, they're full of shit. 99% of them are freaking broke. 99% of them are just doing that for fucking clickbait, okay? But people are so attracted to the flash and to the shiny object that that's all they're looking at. Or maybe that one trader that is posting the rolls and the, all the expensive stuff, it took him 15 years to get there. And you are trying to accomplish that in 15 days. Okay? So it, there is a huge detachment from what you see on Twitter and what you see on social media of what the, the real thing is, what it really goes on behind the curtains. And you don't think about that because all you see is that flash. That flash doesn't let you see past it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like you have like this little path covering piles of shit but at the end of the path there's like a little gold bar and all you all, all you see is that little gold bar but you're not seeing like all the shit that you need to walk through to get to it because that's that's how that's how the the, the human mind is you know you are only focusing on that end goal but you are not willing to do the work so don't expect the results for the work that you didn't do it's not gonna happen it doesn't matter who you're following it doesn't matter whose discord room you are if you are not willing to put in the work, to put in the screen time, you can ask any trader, any respectful trader. There's not many of them. What is one of the things that they recommend that they think that, you know, it turned their, their career around? It's going to be experience, screen time. It takes time. It takes time. So you willing to... You, you expecting to go from a $500 account to a $50,000 account in, in six months is very unrealistic just because you've seen one guy on Twitter that yolos his entire account on every play. Okay? Completely unrealistic. Trading, guys, is like 90% psychology and like 10% technical skills. Your brain is not designed to do good in the market. Market is the most counterintuitive thing that you are going to do in your life. Trading stocks, that is. Because you know what? When the stock is going up and it's ripping, your brain wants you to buy it. When the stock is coming down and it's crashing, your brain wants you to sell it. 
And if you trade like that, let me tell you, that ain't going to work out. It is very counterintuitive. So it needs discipline. It needs hard work. And you need to be consistent. Consistency is the key. I don't care how much money you're making. If you're making 10 bucks per day, but you show me that you are making 10 bucks per day and you've been doing it for the past three months, that's good. That's good. Okay? That's good. Stop letting all these freaking flashy ass guys out there get in your mind and stop comparing yourself to them because at the end, you don't know what is going on in their life. All you see is social media and Twitter and <coughs> and pictures and you, you really don't know. You really don't know what is going on in their lives, okay? Or if that is even real. Anybody can go and pay 1200 bucks and rent a Lamborghini for the day and take some pictures and put them on Twitter. So... That is the biggest thing that I see on Twitter with the new guys. Everybody is w just swinging for those 1,000% every day because, you know, it's super common on Twitter. We see them every day and they keep striking out because they don't know what they're doing. Okay. They're just following somebody that said, if he goes over this by calls, if he goes under this by puts. So they keep striking out. Guys, you need to zoom out. Zoom out. Spend some time on your education. Learn this shit. Learn. Put the time. Paper trade. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you do it. But let me tell you, easy requires a lot of time. It requires a lot of screen time. And it requires a lot of hard work on your part. Somebody can be giving you all the content, answering all your questions, and pretty much feeding you. But if you are not willing to do some work, you know, after the, the screenshots off, you ain't going nowhere. You're always going to be that guy asking, are you guys still in? Okay. Hey, 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 man, what about, what about this stuff? You know, and that, you see that on Twitter all the freaking time. Somebody pull, somebody puts like, hey, I'm alone here. And just look in the comments. Hey, bro, are you still long on uh, this stock that we talked six weeks ago? No, I'm not. And a lot of people, a lot of people need that constant and constant reinforcement. Like, hey, I'm still in. Hey, I'm still in. Hey, I'm still in. Because they freak out. And if you say that you sold because it looks like trash, then you get harassed. It has happened to me. Hundreds of times. <laughs> Happens to me on CEI at like $3. Because I said it, it, was, it was trash. It happens to me on PROG. It's happened to me multiple times. You know why? Because people get brainwashed on this shit. People get brainwashed. I promise you. Like these names that like become a cult. And they just don't see anything negative that is like right on their faces. They don't see it. Because those people didn't have a plan when they got in. They didn't know what they were doing. So they f get that confirmation bias. They find these other people that are on the same situation. They have no idea what the hell is going on. And they just kind of like blow smoke up their butts to each other. And that's what you see in all these cult stocks. And how they all start? They all jumped in because a major furu was in it. The stock ran. The furu, he knows how to he don't he knows how to trade. He got out. Now the rest of the fifty thousand people that didn't have a plan, that don't know how to trade, that don't, don't know shit about the stock market and how it works, they are stuck in back holding, and now they blame everybody else for their account being down seventy percent. But it all comes down to lack of education. They don't know what they're looking at. They didn't know what they were looking at when the stock was running. They don't know how to read an SEC filing. They don't know anything about dilution. So now they all, they all just got to like gather each other that are completely clueless and just come for each other. Don't be that guy. I don't want you to be in that group. I don't want you to find yourself in that situation. So in my, in my opinion, coming straight from my heart, educate yourself. Again, educate yourself. Learn how to fish. Learn it. So nobody can tell you nothing. So you can identify your levels. You can prepare your own trade. You can have your own plan. 
okay? Don't be a sheep. And again, it's okay to trade in a community, but everybody needs to learn and grow together. That is the whole purpose of having a trading community. Everybody grow together. And I am so proud of my guys in my room because I've seen guys coming from like scratch to being absolutely killing it right now. Because you know what? I see them on every single live session that I do. I always see the same person asking questions. Those are the guys that I can tell like from three months ago to right now is a 180 degree turn because those guys put the time in. Now, the other guys that you never see on the live, that you'd never see nothing, just like, hey, what are we trading today? Those guys, a year from now, will be asking the same exact question. Hey, are, are you still in? And again, it all comes to work. You got to put in the work. That's it, baby. It's not that hard. Put the work in. It will pay off. All right? All right, guys. That's all I got. Again. It's coming from my heart. I just want to help you. I just want everybody to grow together, to be financially independent, to be happy. You know what I'm saying? But it's not easy. It doesn't come easy. You got to put your work in. You got to put your time in. That's all it takes. Hey, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. That's all I got. Peace out.